Hello everybody, today we're gonna introduce to you VideoProc, the fastest, easy to use 4K video processing software to cut, edit, resize, record all of your 4K and HAVAC videos. As you can see, software is combined from four parts, video processing, DVD conversion and backup, video downloader and video recording. All right, since I showed you main features of software, Let's go to settings and see what do we have there. First thing we see is language drop-down menu and below that hardware acceleration. VideoProc's unique technology can further expedite video transcoding and processing while optimizing file size and output video quality. Now you can take full advantage of your GPU to convert and process videos with fastest speed possible. In the rest of the settings section, we have a bunch of output folder options as like a default movie format or resolution and recording qualities. There's also a few interesting options like show mouse or mouse clicks in the recordings or show key in the recording and show countdown, which will be very useful if you're making a tutorial of some kind. Okay, let's start now with the main feature of the software, video processing. In the top section, we have four options add a video, add video folder, add music and clear. In the bottom section we have presets and target format options. By clicking on the target format we will get a new menu with options to pick most frequently used profiles such as mobile devices, web-based players and common video profiles. Also when we drag our mouse on the profile it will show info about its settings such as video format, video codec, frame rate, audio codec and sample rate and audio bitrate. Also, there's a few extra tabs below where you can find cool profiles for video, devices, music and toolbox. Now let's add a video and see how this works. When we add a video, it will show in software with all information about the video. Below that, we have quick menus where we can edit the video. Let's click on effects. It will pop a new window where we can edit our imported video. In effects tab we have a bunch of filters, also on the right side we can adjust brightness, contrast, saturation and so on. In audio video tab we can rotate or flip our video and make adjustments for playback speed and volume. Subtitle tab is self-explanatory, you can add subtitles to your video if you have one or search it online. Cut tab is where you can cut your videos by dragging two knobs to set a cut time position. When you're done with the knobs, just simply click on cut and you're done. Crop tab is again self-explanatory, if you want to crop part of your video you can easily do it with this tool. In watermark tab you can add a specific text or logo or even image to your video or you can add both if you want. At the top of the window there is a format tab where we can change settings of current profile. We can adjust quality and everything from codec, frame rate, aspect ratio and so on. In the name and tag tab we can change artwork, output, name, title and maybe even add some comments to the video. And for now we are done with editing our video. Now we will pick or even maybe edit one of the profiles, so it pleasure our needs. Let's change quality of this particular profile and save it. Let's just add best quality at the end so we can know that's our profile. Before we click on run, there's a useful toolbox tab where we can find some of the useful plugins such as video stabilization and de-shaking and reduce disturbing noise and so on. Currently, about 65% of video transcoding programs have resource to GPU acceleration for video encoding. 24% others can achieve both GPU acceleration, video decoding and video encoding. However, none but VideoProc can get full utilization of hardware acceleration in video processing. Cooped with video encoding and decoding, this technology is called level-free hardware acceleration. 
You might ask, what's the benefit? To narrow it down, video conversion speed by virtual of level 3 hardware acceleration can reach up to 47 times real time faster while keeping low CPU usage. Additionally, its 4K video processing performance is second to none. Our second section of software is DVD conversion and backup. Here we have three options to import our DVD by disk, but since we don't have our DVD player, we're gonna use other method. By folder, if you have your DVD movie somewhere saved, you can add it that way. And last option is by ISO. Now let's browse where is our ISO movie and edit. Success! Now you will see the list of titles of your movie. Now only thing you need to do is to pick what format would you like to convert your movie. Would it be a regular MP4 or maybe for some device, such as your phone or something else. After you're done, check your output folder for every case and click on run. Approximately you will need 5 minutes to convert 2 hour movie. That's how fast it is. After it's done, let's check if it works. I will skip few scenes and voila, works perfectly. Now let's clear this up and go to our third section of software. Video Downloader. This section is very easy to use. You just simply need to add your URL, pick what conversion you want and click download. Ok, so let's click on add video and now we will need to enter URL of video we want to download. Let's go to our browser and let's download the new Aquaman trailer. Just copy URL, go back to software and click paste and analyze. Now pick which quality and resolution you want and click on download selected videos. After that, click on download now. It will download the video as fast as possible, but it really depends on your internet speed. After it's done, let's check it out. Let's skip few scenes so we can know if everything is alright. Beautiful. Now let's clear completed videos and go to our last section of software, which is Video Recorder. In here we have only two steps. Click on what do you want to record and just press record. We can also crop our video, change resolution and adjust our audio settings. Also, don't forget to check out your output folder. At the top you have three options. To record your screen, to record your webcam or to record your screen and webcam. Let's test it out. Click on the screen and your desktop will appear in the software. Click on record, it will give you countdown and will give you two hotkeys on how to stop recording and open pane tools. Let's just do a few seconds of recording and stop it. Our recorded video will appear in the right section where you can open it and check if there is any problems, glitches or something like that. But I can promise you, there won't be any problems. And since we don't need it anymore, let's just delete it. I also recorded some gameplay footage to see quality of video and as you can see it's amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to leave us a comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.